Hey everybody, welcome back to Bonus Points. Uh, that ugly son of a bitch means that we are only playing one game and one game only. We are playing Sunset Overdrive. I love this game. Like, with a passion. If uh, you're like me and uh, you're a big fan of Tony Hawk, uh, back when that game was good, this game is for you. If you like Grand Theft Auto, this game is for you. If you like Grand Theft Auto Mix with Tony Hawk, this game is really meant for you. You should be playing this game right now. Uh, this first part here is this is all tutorial stuff. Uh, it's basically, it, like I said, it's it's Tony Hawk except minus the skateboard. It's like extreme parkour. Um, it, well, uh, parkour is already pretty extreme, but this is taking parkour and making it more extreme, like with more X's in it. That's how extreme this shit is. Um, the mutants in this game, awesome, ugly as fuck. Love them. Uh, they get a little harder as the game goes on. Uh, you come across different classes of mutants. Um, it it kind of reminds me of like... Uh, it's got a little bit of a Left 4 Dead thing to it too. Uh, as far as uh, the different classes of mutants. So uh, that's that's neat. Um, the grinding, the, this is the grindage. We got some gnarly grinders, so we got that going for us. Um, the gr this game gives you, in this part right here, you know, this game teaches you so much in the tutorial as far as like, uh, you know, dodging and, um, bouncing off of everything because the main, the main focus of the game here is that you want to stay off the damn ground. You don't want to set foot on the ground unless you, uh, fucked up. Well, I say that. You're probably going to see me walking on the ground quite a few times. There will be times I just take off running, looking for the next thing to bounce or jump off. Um, these, excuse me, these big things right here. Oh yeah, you can like, uh, because in the game you're going to get uh, a crowbar. It's going to be your main weapon. Well, yeah, your main weapon essentially. I've got a gun! <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen a, a gun with testicles on it? Here it is right here, the flaming compensator. Uh, th this right here is going to be a lot of the game too. Um, there there will be times that you'll have to uh, kill enemies while in grinding or in combo uh, just to pass the, uh, the challenge. That you'll be ahead of uh this thing right here the herker uh this thing is ugly they're hard to take down you will run across a ton of them in sunset city um the these things will they will murder your face oh no like i said you want to spend as as much time off the ground as possible But, uh, this part right here kind of gives me a, uh, it kind of reminds me of a uh, Mega Man X feel. Uh, you know, they try to, t for those of you who have never played Mega Man X on Super Nintendo, uh, the very beginning of Mega Man X is nothing but tutorial. And then, toward the end of the tutorial, you fight this, this dude who just, you can't beat him, it's impossible. Um, no matter how long you last, yeah, that thing will still just, he still beats the crap out of you. Uh, <laughs> all right, come on, right there. Really? Seriously, right that? Uh, okay. Okay, okay. I guess I can't. Can I go? Why is it telling me to go there? Oh shit! And I recorded the game clip, so hooray! And eh, we're gonna go up here. Oh, okay. I think I was supposed to go there, dude. I just want to get in my apartment. That's all I want. Oh shit! 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 Okay. Um, okay, here, here's another, uh, here's another question this game poses, right? So, a lot of people, especially with zombies coming, making a comeback into mainstream media with, uh, Walking Dead and, uh, those kind of things. Um, you know, so, you know how everyone's like, oh, well, the zombies hit Oh, uh, this is what I would do. And, you know, they've got all these, uh, these unique ideas and stuff about 
well, this is how I would survive the apocalypse, and I wouldn't do it like this, and I would avoid this, and I would do this. Okay, well, this right here basically answers the question of what if you could do it the exact opposite way where you had nothing but unlimited ammo and, uh, you know, you were still kind of pretty much surrounded by people. And uh, if you could just go balls out and do exactly, you know, the exact opposite of a responsible apocalypse person. This is the this is for the apocalypse person that's like, man, I would just run and gun all through this motherfucker. <laughs> that's what this game is all about. Dude, this game reminds me of Ricky Rackman <laughs> from uh, Headbangers Ball. So, wait, Headbangers Ball? Is that what it is? <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna have to look that one up. I'm pretty sure it's Headbangers Ball. Oh man, that's sad. That, that show made a comeback when I was in high school. And I just remember it because it was kind of like, you know, that's where, you know, they would bring in, I think if I remember right, Headbangers Ball is where they brought in uh, Anthrax. <laughs> like somebody won a contest through Headbangers Ball and Anthrax went to their house and like just destroyed it. But I'd have to look that up. I can't remember it right off the top of my head. So anyway, so we're working for a company called Fisco. Fisco makes uh, this energy drink. <laughs> it's a game within a game. It's Sunset Overdrive Seption. So Fisco made this energy drink that turned people into mutants. And everyone wonders why I went back to coffee instead of drinking energy drinks. And this is the reason why right here. Because you never know which one you're going to drink that turns you into a mutant. These things look like jacked up piranhas mixed with uh, Nemesis from Resident Evil and something else that's ugly. I just don't know. This part right here I always thought was kind of cool. <laughs> Apocalypse. Get home. Okay. 17 days later. So that was the prequel of, of what happened when we were taking off a running during the, uh, during the, uh, tutorial. So I'm going to customize my guy and I will be right back with a brand new character who's not going to be dressed in his uniform. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Hmm, hmm. Do, 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 do. Man, I just, I, is there a beer in here still? Nope. Oh, no. Thank God for the old man. Everybody wants that badass old man. Who are you? I'm Walter. Guys are safe. That's like their mentor slash you know, like coolest dude in the game, and it's this guy. Take this. Watch us, they followed us. <laughs> it's coming right for us. <laughs> Alright, meleeing is gonna be a big part of this game as well. Not just shooting. Uh, even though we are going to get some sweet guns along the way. Um, and some some better clothes. Granted, this is not my favorite attire for the apocalypse. Uh, just wait. There, I'll have to do some more challenges to, to get some clothing upgrades. Because trust me, I, I dress slightly more classy for the apocalypse. Uh, you cannot die from fall damage. Um, oh, there was something else. Actually, well, hold on. I say you can't. Uh, if you are in a challenge where it requires you to go up and you have to keep pace with something going up, uh, then you can die if you do fall. I've had that happen. Uh, if you fall behind some things, if you're supposed to be keeping up with, with uh, 
I know there's parts later where you've got to keep up with things. Um, that will that will uh, determine, you know, whether you pass the challenge or not. Okay, the uh, high fidelity gun. This gun is cool. Uh, it shoots records, so this reminds me a lot of Shaun of the Dead. If you've never seen Shaun of the Dead, uh, what the hell is wrong with you? Alright, sorry, I felt like you guys needed that explanation as to what happened. Uh, all the... Uh, Fisco, Fisco put this energy drink out, and that's what turned everybody into into mutants. And that's what happened was it caused their endocrine system to go crazy, and that's what turned them. Uh, now the high fidelity gun is cool for a couple of reasons. One, it shoots records, so it reminds me of Shaun of the Dead, uh, the part where uh, Shaun and uh, oh man, is his name Ed? Man, I haven't seen Shaun of the Dead for so long. Uh, but anyways, they go outside and they start throwing records at the zombie just walking around in the backyard. It's so hilarious. But it kind of reminds me of that. So you just sit here and you shoot records. You shoot records that uh, mutated all all day if you wanted to. Uh, my other favorite gun, the Flaming Compensator is one of my favorite guns. The Dirty Harry, which we'll get later, is one of my favorite guns. Uh, there's also one called the Teddy Bear Launcher. <laughs> Uh, there's one that, sh there's another one that's called like, it's, uh, the Chinese New Year, I think is what it's called. Uh, and it's like a giant dragon gun that shoots, uh, like Roman candle shit. Not on purpose. <laughs> Which is usually how it goes. So these are your little holdups, hold uh, your your bases. Uh, this is um, th this is where a lot of uh, these challenges right here, like this that thing I was just standing by. Um, that's how you get amplifiers. Amplifiers are good for your character and your guns, which is all something you're gonna need to get through this game is to upgrade your character, your guns. Uh, you buy all your weapons from Two Hat Jack, and here it is, the Dirty Harry. Two Hat Jack will be all over the game. Uh, he, he won't be necessarily in these bases, but he, he could just be somewhere on the street. I know that he's got like a couple of stores just randomly on the street, depending on where you're at. You guys need to listen to this, so... Uh, maybe not. Oh, yeah. Uh, the other thing is... We're, you don't just have to worry about mutated. You also have to worry about assholes that survive the apocalypse that are basically just out to kill people and be complete douchebags. Um, I do like going around shooting scabs. I ain't gonna lie about it. Um, I will shoot a scab and not think twice. Because they are assholes. Yeah, that's that's the whole reason why I said you basically got to uh, you got to grind grind. Wow, what the fuck just happened? I think I was like trying to combine words there, like grind and bounce, which is like ground. Anyways, I'm trying to make up words and shit over here. Uh, but yeah, you you can't uh, you can't not be moving. Uh, not moving is will will murder you. I mean, it's it's happened to me. Where I've stood in one spot and tried to just take on hordes of these things and they just... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Nothing like, nothing like setting people on fire, but let's, uh... Let's go to the Dirty Harry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you guys see that dude? He flew like 30 feet. 
Okay, maybe not 30, but close enough. You don't have to worry about balance and all that. Kind of like in Tony Hawk, it just auto balances anyway. I feel like that would be a whole nother, uh, a whole nother thing to add to this game if you had to try to balance on top of everything. Kind of like in Tony Hawk when you do grinds. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call it here, guys, and we'll take on some more challenges next time. Uh, I, I think I could, I could keep playing this game. This will be kind of like my, my other game. Uh, we're definitely probably not going to carry on with Hammer Watch. I'll tell you why next video. Later, guys.